Hi guys! Sorry I missed last week, but hey, I'm back this week. And guess what? To make up for it, I'm gonna wear a silly hat. And I think I have a guest coming in. Do you recognize her? Who's that? Who's that? Pretty, pretty princess Kristen. Yeah. Okay, so my favorite thing right now is my new tattoo. Just gotta show it off because it's so awesome. I'm angling it wrong. There we go. I already had the lightning bolts, but I just got the knives added to it. It's itchy, but it's so awesome. Okay, let's do draw time. And I hope I'm being loud enough. I actually already recorded this, but I'm re-recording it because it was so quiet. So I'm going to draw a clown using numbers. I can't remember if I've ever done this before, but I'm doing it anyway. So you draw an 8, two sixes, and a 7. And then you connect the 6s to the 8 and connect the 6s to each other. Just add a little split. Give the pans a split. Draw a circle under the 7 and connect the 6s to the 7. Basically you're just connecting everything and draw another side and there's your hat put a little palm on it draw a big crazy clown mouth woo and palm button thingies woo clown and it's not a scary clown a lot of people think clowns are scary but I think I drew a silly clown not a scary clown and I drew a practice one on the back. It's all tiny like. So we have double clowns today. Woo! Okay, so it has been suggested to me to talk about something in the news. So I found this article. Um, it says, ships to sail directly over the North Pole by 2050, scientists say. So basically it's saying that with the climate changes, the sea ice will melt and these strong ice strengthened vessels will just fucking plow right through it. And they'll just have a straight path and not have to go like all the way around the continents. So it'll be a really good thing for shipping, but at the same time, if you think about it, is it really good for the world that all that ice is melting? I mean, yeah, I know I'll be 60 by that time, but I'll still have like 40 years left and I don't want Seattle to go underwater in the next 40 years of my life. Come on. I mean, have you seen Waterworld and those crazy gangster pirate guys who just ruin everything and like dirt is like gold and it's crazy sauce. I don't want that. Yeah, faster shipping is nice, but why is it cool to talk about being excited like, yay, melting ice? No, not yay. I say not yay. What do you say? Do you say yay? Am I crazy? Am I taking it too far? I might be taking it too far. But that's my bit of the news. And then I'm bringing back story time. I'm going to do a Mad Lib from Keepers and Losers. And this one is called, where is it? I marked it off. This one is called His Friends. Okay. You can tell a lot by the Fred a person keeps, and this is certainly true about your man. He has 742 good buddies, but a few really stand out. His best friend will always talk him into sliding your dates because of a crisis. Another guy is in love with you and constantly sends you trees on the sly. I love getting sly trees. His most, wh what was the next? His most feminine pal treats you like a weak old vegan and ignores you whenever you see him. One dude moves in on weekends during soccer season. 
he's standoffish and litters your man's Frankfurt with Tupperwares. And then there's Peabody. He's tall, clingy, and handsome. His body is built like a brick knee. Everybody wants to be built like a brick, Rachel. If you weren't dating your man, you'd be all over him like fuchsia on seafood. Aren't friends bouncy? <laughs> uh, these things always crack me up. Some people just get really obscene with them. And that's okay. Those are really funny too. And guess what? I totally want you to help me do one for next week. It is called Isn't He Romantic? I'm going to show you all the stuff that we need done for it. So just help me out here. And you can be as obscene as you want. And I'll try and remember to post all of these things in the comments too. But there you go. Come on, do it with me so I don't have to be a loser and do it alone. Yeah. Okay, I want to keep this short. Bye! You're awesome! High fives!